What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. And we're going to be bringing you some nerd pop culture. But before we get into that, let me just mention we have our merch dropping February 1st. It'll be first come, first serve on all sizes. Uh, so get it while it's hot. It's got some really cool animation of us on there. I'm a Western cowboy all dressed up. And I'm just a really big jacked guy. <laughs> so check it out. Can't wait to show you guys. But let's just jump right into it with some nerd pop culture. start off with some Duncan Jones, the director of the Warcraft movie. Ooh, I love the Warcraft movie. So it was a gorgeous movie. Came out early-ish 2000s, and it had some fantastic graphics and early two thousand. I feel like the Warcraft movie was like 2012-ish. Oh, was it? All yeah. right. Well, I'm no. thinking too far back. But it was amazing regardless. Absolutely loved it. Oh, but yeah. Duncan Jones was the director of the movie, and he is the son of the famous musician David Bowie. And he does... Interesting great work on all the soundtracks for the movies and i think it's because it's in his blood from his dad but he's just wrapped up filming on his new movie called rogue trooper and it's been animated completely in unreal engine 5 so i think it's going to be beautiful be absolutely stunning uh they got a great lineup of actors for the voice acting they have Haley atwell from captain america she was the Soldier lady, and she wore red lipstick. She was real pretty. Yes, yes. yes. She was like the soldier love interest. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they have Jermaine Clement. I believe I said his name right. He was from Avatar Way of Water. He was the captain of the ship that did the whaling. They yes. got all the uh, whales and stole the brains from them and stuff. Nice, nice. So that was pretty cool. And then they got Sean Bean from Lord of the Rings and Ooh, Game of Thrones. One does not simply walk into Mordor. You do not simply <laughs> walk. In. Cannot wait. Going to be sweet. Game of Thrones, Eddard Stark. You guys know him. Um, can't wait to see him in it. And the plot follows 19, who's a lone survivor of an attack, desperate to track down those who betrayed him. Joined with his three squad mates who were killed in action, the personalities are now stored in his gun, his helmet, and his rucksack. Interesting. Why do they call him 19? Um, I believe he's a super soldier. Okay. And there were, it's I think... number 19. number and, 19. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Halo Season 2 trailer is out. Very nice. It's showing off Master Chief fighting out with his squad, you know, decking it out where it left off at the end of Season 1. Cortana took over, and Master Chief is shut down, and he's just out there brawling with his squad, and it shows that the Battle of Reach is finally coming. Yeah, I, I saw this play during the uh, NFL's AFC Championship game during oh, that. Yeah. And then I wrote down some quote. It was like uh, that it takes place, uh, the coming, showcases the coming and the fall of Reach and the controversial plans being put in place before the Covenant arrives to who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Activate the rings, maybe? Huh? <laughs> I keep seeing all these uh, controversy over controversy if goddamn i can't that say words got it yeah um <laughs> over him not wearing the helmet yes. i haven't seen the first season so i can't speak on it too much but <laughs> is it that big of a deal he in the games it's a big deal it's okay that they show his face right i'm okay that they put a face behind master mm -hmm. chief for the sake of the show and everyone wants to see it but he has his helmet off 90 percent of the time he's out there fighting with his helmet off master chief always has yeah. his helmet on it's what keeps him alive. It's a Spartan, puts up his HUD, Cortana. I don't know. I do have a problem with it, too. But the show's still good. You get to watch him crush brutes and alien skulls. So. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, that's all I've got for my... We should mention, that's coming to culture. Paramount Plus February 8th with a two-episode premiere. Oh, uh, nice. All right. What do I got? We got Ghostbusters. Frozen Empire just released a new trailer uh, it showcases an army of ghosts on whatever city they're taking place in. I think it might be New York. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. The first one takes place on, like, farmland, and I feel like it's, like, Nebraska or something. Okay. Uh, but it had Paul Rudd, and they had a bunch of the old guys come back, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd. Oh, so it's based off the new series. Right? Yes. Okay. So it's, it's just basically uh, little kids of, I think they're the grandkids of... 
Dan Aykroyd or Bill Murray. I can't remember the plot of it. I didn't see. I didn't. But they like it. move into their house that, or one of them passes away, and they move into their house, and the ghost was the reason he died, and then it Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters <laughs> and Ghostbusters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, so we got Paul Rudd coming back for that. We have Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and most of the actors coming back, even surprise ones you didn't see in the first one coming back to okay. reprise their roles. Any of the lady Ghostbusters making an appearance? No, no. We basically scrapped that movie and acted like it never happened. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, it wasn't a bad movie. It just wasn't Ghostbusters, wasn't I don't think. Ghostbusters. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be coming out March 22nd, 2024. So keep an eye out for that. Nice. I'll probably go, not go see it, but I'll wait till it comes out. I'll go see it in the theaters. <laughs> I love going to movies, getting Fair enough. popcorn. Uh, last one I got, a little controversial. I could say it right that time. Um, Vince McMahon has resigned from the WWE following sexual misconduct allegations. Uh, I'm not going to read any of the text messages that were out there, but we did look at them before the show, and it is very explicit. They were horrible. Yes. Uh, basically, this is a lawsuit between him and a former employer uh, employee, uh, Janelle Grant, who I don't know much about, but I know Variety did an article on her, and one of the quotes they used was the lawsuit pertains to them using Grant for quote, both for their own pleasure and as a pawn to secure talent deals with prospective wrestlers they were recruiting. So that sounds real shady. And I know in the article it says that that goes against um, sex trafficking laws that we have. So a lot of messed up stuff there. Hopefully uh, she's going after not only Vince McMahon, but the WWE in general. So we'll see how that shapes it. Doesn't The Rock own it now? Or something? So no, I think The Rock owns the, like, junior division one. Okay. It's, like, not junior division. The one before WWE. Before no. you're, like, pro? Yes. Before, it's, like, amateur. And okay. then WWE. Gotcha, it's, gotcha. I WWX or F or something like that, maybe? I'm not a big wrestling I'm, guy. I'm, I'm sure. neither am I. I'm just <laughs> recalling through my <laughs> memories here. I did watch The Rock as a kid wrestle. Well, <laughs> but Vince McMahon basically built the WWE, and I know that's it's got a huge following. So we'll see how that shapes going forward wrestling and storylines and everything like that yeah that'll be interesting to watch how it unfolds in the court too and watch everything just hope it gets publicized and i get to read everything about it because it was pretty interesting from when we were talking about it yeah that's all i got for some uh nerd pop culture thanks for watching this segment on nerd pop culture everybody uh we have our merch dropping february 1st they're these awesome hoodies, very high quality, with us animated on the front of them. We'll be showing them off soon, but it's going to be great, and it's first come, first serve on all the sizes, so make sure you get them right away, February 1st, people. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you all again Monday with some new content.